feels nourishing, it feels rejuvenating, it feels uplifting. It feels like it wiped out the sadness, uplifted my mood, gave me energy. I felt very creative, really feeling more energized and active. Welcome to my week one Yoni steaming vlog. So I just finished my first consistent week of Yoni steaming and I am making this a commitment to myself to keep up with this because of my painful periods. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what Yoni steaming is and how you do it why I'm personally committing to Yoni steaming and what my commitment is. And then I'm gonna share a little bit about what happened, my experience with my first week and show you some footage of the herbs I used and my Yoni steaming setup. So what is Yoni steaming? I guess first I should share what is Yoni. So Yoni is the Sanskrit word for womb or vagina, um, but so it's really the whole womb space, your ovaries, your uterus, your cervix, your vagina, the outer part of your vagina, um, the entire womb space. So that is what a Yoni is. I prefer to use that word over just vagina. And so Yoni steaming is taking medicinal herbs and boiling them in a pot and steaming your badge with it <laughs> for anywhere from 10 to 60 minutes. I have heard stories that it helps women get pregnant, so increase fertility and literally help them have babies and conceive. Um, it's supposed to help with PMS, with mood swings, with cramps, with heavy bleeding, um, with postpartum things that are going on. I've never had a baby, so I don't know, but postpartum issues, um, pre-menopause, menopause, post-menopause. Um, it's said to increase your creativity and your libido and your moisture and your wetness down there. The reason I'm doing it is because of my painful periods. I have had painful, excruciating periods my entire life. The only way I get by is through ibuprofen. I really want to have a life where I don't have to take any medicine like that. I feel like I've tried so many other things for my periods and they haven't worked or they're expensive. So for example, I tried acupuncture. And this was a clinic specifically for women for all sorts of whatever womb stuff that we got going on. I was starting to see a little result, but it was like over $100 per visit, plus you had to have the herbal medicine. And I really enjoyed it, but it was so expensive and I couldn't afford to keep going. I've studied a lot of Kiminami. Kiminami's work is all about pairing the sexual with the spiritual. And so I've studied her work and I've done a lot of work on myself, on my own womb space. And... To be honest, it hasn't changed my periods. So from her work, I do breast massage, yoni massage, self-pleasuring, um, and what else? Oh, and the jade egg. I use a jade egg. And I've been doing that for two and a half years. And to be honest, my periods haven't changed. I've done so much energy healing on myself. I am an energy healer. In the last several years, I've completely changed my diet, my lifestyle. I've worked on my mental health. And I have healed many other ailments in myself, including my depression, anxiety, insomnia, PTSD, um, anxiety. But... My period is like my last health issue that I really want to heal. So I've been watching videos of women who say they completely healed their painful periods through the use of Yoni steaming. So I am committing to give this a shot. I just finished week one, so I'm gonna show some footage in here of the concoction or the mixture that I used and each day I'm using different herbs and you see I'm preparing it on the stove and I'm boiling it for about five to 10 minutes, um, kind of on a low to medium temperature and then letting it steep for about five to 10 more minutes before I start with it. And you'll see each day I'm using different herbs and I'm just using my intuition 
and I pick some from outside. So things that are available, like you'll see some clover in here, dandelion, both the yellow part and the greens, this little leafy thing called plantain, as well as violet. So I collect that from outside. And then I also have a friend with an organic garden. So I've collected these other herbs from the garden. Um, I'm not gonna get into the specific herbs I use too much, but I just wanna show you like how beautiful this looks. So you can really see the medicine that you're steaming and is going up inside your womb space. And now here is my setup. I don't have anything fancy. I'm just using what I already have in my house, which is a bowl and some towels and this pot that I have. Now, ideally, I would not be using a plastic bowl, but it's what I have right now. And before when I would do any steam, I would kind of sit my weight on the bowl and I don't have that bowl anymore, so I'm using this plastic one, and I read online that you can just lean over, literally like you're taking it in doggy style, and just lean over the thing and steam that way. So I did that this week, and I wrap a towel around me, kind of creating like a little teepee to keep the steam in. Oh, my experience. So I steamed right after my moon was done. I steamed for two days in a row and I felt like it was getting really intense. So I took a day off and then I steamed again this morning and each day I steamed for about 20 minutes. And the thing I noticed the most is this warm and fuzzy feeling inside. And honestly, each day it keeps getting more and more and more warm and fuzzy. It's literally like when you have a feeling in your heart of love, it's like that feeling. It's almost like after an orgasm, just warm, this warmth and just pure joy and happiness, like spreading throughout my whole abdomen, into my hips, my thighs, into my belly. I don't know how to get this feeling any other way. I mean, yes, I guess orgasm, but this is even different because it's like the, I can feel the medicine of these herbs. I felt warm and fuzzy. And each day afterwards, I felt very energized, actually. I felt it feels uplifting. It feels energizing. Like I've gotten a lot done. Um, so it's really enhanced my mood. And so each day I've steamed for about 20 minutes and then I, they say to just wrap the towel around you and lay in bed um, just to keep that warmth in. And so I've been doing that and then just laying in my bed, just like feeling super blissful and just feeling this warm fuzziness inside. It also feels soothing. It feels very gentle. It feels nourishing it feels rejuvenating like i said it feels uplifting like there's definitely it's definitely helps with my mental health like every day before i was feeling a little sad and it just really feels like it wiped out the sadness uplifted my mood gave me energy i felt very creative each day like getting stuff done like I was like laying in bed the days before, after I Yoni steamed, I was like up and about and I was doing stuff, doing dishes, like cleaning. Now I'm doing this vlog. So just really feeling more energized and active. Other thing I noticed after day two, which this was really interesting, was I was like afterwards looking down at my pubic hair and just had this feeling of like, wow, that's sexy. Like, and I've never felt this before, feeling like, wow, like that's sensual and it's sexy. Like, usually I want to shave it all off or I look down at it and I just think, ew, that's gross, that's disgusting. And for the first time in my entire life, I just felt like, wow, that's attractive. That's sexy. Like, that makes me a woman. And like, ooh. <laughs> So I feel like that's huge progress in week one. I also feel like looking in the mirror, I feel like my skin is glowing. I feel like I have this glow. So week one is finished. In week two, 
I'm gonna try to steam like one or two times. I don't wanna overdo it. I'm also just gonna listen to my intuition. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see in the coming weeks if this helps my periods. And I encourage you all to start your yoni steaming journey along with me. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.